Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm super stoked to show you guys this new project we're gonna be building out. And like it kind of, I hope you get, it resembles is Robin, Robin Hood. Um, so I just had to build out a Robin Hood clone just for, just for fun and to kind of reinforce my knowledge of Ruby and Rails. So this project is built on Ruby on Rails and React. And I'm just gonna walk you guys through the entire process. So this is a full stack project that I'm going to divide into short little video clips that we're going to walk through from designing the models to uh, using React on the front end. What is Redux? Like, do we need it? Like, when do we need Redux? So I'm going to show you the guys real quick what the features are. And I try my best. I'm actually going to refresh this because it's a nice little animation that I, I don't know. I really, I really like those little touches and do this incognito because I don't want to ruin the surprise. So we go in here and we can log in or sign up. You see that nice little touch of animation right there. Kind of, it's subtle, but to me, it, it makes a big difference when you're, when this is in the eyes of a recruiter, if you're building this out for your portfolio, you definitely want to do everything you can to stand out. And those little animations will do it for you. So I highly recommend them. And I will go through how to um, add them to your project. So we can scroll through here and you see the text will pop up and there is a nice little color change at that point. Um, so I'll show you guys how to do that all on the front end. And so when we go to login sign up, so this is a fully functioning app. And as such, like user authentication is one of the most important things in Mindre apps. And one of the worst things you can do, or like one of the biggest no's is to store your user's passwords in plain text in your DB somewhere. Um, definitely, definitely a big no. So what, what you actually end up doing, so here I'll, I'll demonstrate how to use Bcrypt, which is a way to actually hash um, your user's password so you actually don't store the actual plain text in your DB. And I'll walk you guys through that entire process. So just for now, I'm gonna go sign up. I have this try demo button right here, just for like, if you guys are showing this to the eyes of like in front of a recruiter, like no recruiter is gonna go through and type in first name, last name, like no one, like, no one does that. So you definitely wanna have this button just so if someone walks by, you can show them the fully functioning app in a matter of seconds. So you can try this demo and you'll see that fills in really nicely. And this is a nice little game that Robin, Robin Hood actually implements with free stock. So a quick rundown is I decided to add my own twist to this, add my own theme. I decided to go with basketball players because I'm a basketball fan. And I, while you guys are following along with this, I encourage you to do the same. Uh, pick something that you like, something, something that um, another hobby perhaps, like make this creative to you. So. Here you can just choose here and I get this player, to be honest, never even heard of him, but he's worth $60. And you guys will see the fun little thing about this is this is actually plugged into a Twitter web scraper, which will build out and based on Twitter sentiment, maybe it'll be easy just to show you. Um, so you'll see everyone starts out with $2,000 right here. And I obviously have 6037, that's just a freebie. Um, so we can go in here, we see latest news, this is plugged into the API, web API. So this will be dynamic, um, just news from the NBA, stuff like that. Um, up here, we can see a search bar. So this is pretty cool. We, this actually searches for all the NBA players, at least at this web API web point. So I'll show you guys how to build this out and it's dynamic so I can like type things out. It will let me know. Um, so I can say like Steph Curry, Golden State right here. You can see he's trending up up a dollar, not bad. Um, we can scroll down, see his stats. I'll show you guys how to do that. And this is all part of the athlete model. That's a little hint. So we can go in here, see recent tweets. So this is what his price is basically based off of. And you see from here, they're mostly positive tweets. And this is actually analyzed through a sentiment. So the, each twi tweet generates a sentiment that generates into the price. I'll show you guys how to do that. And then we see recent athletes over here. If I want, I can buy, let's say 10 shares of Steph Curry. I'm gonna place that order. And you see he shows up here in my stocks. Cool, I can also have this nice little watch list. Let's say Devin Booker, actually great player. So you can see he's not much movement right now. So we can buy some more. Or actually let's add him to the watch list. So we're adding him to the watch list. Let's, let's just see what happens. And looks like I'm turning down for some reason. Um, but that's basically it, guys. It's a lot, it's a lot, but I, I know you guys can do it. So I'm super excited 
stick with me and I promise we're gonna build this out and you guys, this would be a great portfolio piece or something you can just build up for fun and stay tuned. Catch you guys later.